So it turns out, uh, Cash Me Outside girl Danielle Bergoli is now a rapper. Yes, you heard me correctly, those words just came out of my mouth. And don't worry, I'm confused too. Danielle did what any girl would do after being put on a five year probation for two counts of grand theft, filing a false police report, and possession of marijuana. She came out with a rap song. And what's a rapper without a rap name? According to her, that name is going to be Bad Baby. Yeah, she's definitely 14. Her debut track is called These Hoes. Of course it is. I mean, I mean, I do have to give it to Danielle. She definitely knows how to stay in the spotlight. Every time you think she's starting to fade out, she does something to grab the public's attention. She also made a YouTube account, which is doing pretty well, as she's had 1.5 million subscribers. And that's where she posted her rap song. So for a 14 year old, she does have some business sense, and she knows how to keep people entertained. And apparently people are loving this song. I was going through the comment section of the video, and it's nothing but positive responses. When I first heard this, I didn't know if she had it in her. But if people are listening to it and giving it a positive review, then no doubt there will be more songs coming out in the near future. This song is 2 minutes 20 seconds long and here's a clip. Let me know down in the comments what you think. joining me on this beautiful Saturday, I'm Court McGinley. I hope you're all having a wonderful weekend so far. So as I told you guys yesterday, today is my bachelorette party. It's actually happening right now. So make sure you guys are following me on Instagram at Court McGinley so you can see what we're getting up to. I know I'm going to be posting a lot to my Instagram story. Alright, as always, we have a bunch of interesting news stories headed your way, so let's get started. Next, $80,000 worth of Nutella was stolen from a truck. Honestly, this could have been anyone. It could have been one of you for all I know. Everyone loves Nutella. Police have filed a report stating a semi trailer full of Nutella was stolen in a small German town. Okay, so since it's in Germany, I guess that narrows down the suspect list. But it's crazy someone stole 22 tons of Nutella. This is giving me Willy Wonka flashbacks. That's a lifetime supply of chocolate we're talking about. Heck, maybe it was one of his Oompa Loompas. I mean, if their factory machines broke down, they have to get their chocolate from somewhere. In the truck, there was a variety of chocolates including Kinder Surprise Eggs, Nutella Hazelnut Chocolate Cream, and Chocolate Fruit Pearls. Police have also said that they are not sure if the thieves were after the sweets or the trailer. And at this point, they don't know what their motive was. As I said before, the chocolate is worth about $80,000. Yeah, I'm thinking that was the motive. I'm still thinking they should question the Oompa Loompas, but hey, that's just me. They look like sneaky little guys. Next, speaking of sweet treats, this next story is going to make you very, very happy. And if it doesn't, we can't be friends because we just have very different interests. People who love Halloween were super excited when pumpkin pie M&M's hit Walmart stores the other week. But now an even better Halloween themed flavor is coming out. Are you guys ready for this? Right now you can get your hands on cookies and scream M&M's. They are currently on sale at Target. They are inspired by one of our favorite flavors ever, cookies and cream. Just like actual Oreos, they have a white center and dark chocolate outer coating. They also have a cool speckle design that gives it a Halloween flair. Now let's be honest, they could have just came out with these whenever and just called them Oreo M&Ms. But clearly they know seasonal people are extremely impulsive shoppers and will buy anything with a ghost, witch or bat stamped on it. I'm guilty of that myself. <laughs> Next, scientists create mutant mosquitoes. These mosquitoes are genetically engineered to not smell human blood. AKA, they're not going to bite you and suck out your blood. Yay! Technology is amazing! Did you guys know that aside from mosquito bites not feeling great, mosquitoes also carry many diseases including malaria, which is an incredibly dangerous parasite that results in more than 400,000 deaths worldwide each year. Because of this, US Department of Defense has awarded a million dollar grant to insect specialists Andrew Nuss and Dennis Matthews so they can create these genetically engineered mosquitoes that will not be attracted to humans. The way they are achieving this is by identifying the small receptors that mosquitoes use to detect human flesh and are switching them off. About this they said, we want to tweak their systems by either knocking out the receptors that are responsible for human feeding or replacing them with receptors for other mosquito species that feed on other animals in the environment. They are hoping that if mosquitoes feed on animals instead, then this could break the human mosquito human transmission cycle. The men go on to say, our research is an approach where the mosquitoes still get to survive in the environment just as long as they are not biting humans. Preventing the spread of disease is the ultimate goal. Next, speaking of mutants, here we have a mutant goat with a human face. This goat has terrified an entire village due to its strange face. 
As soon as the pictures of the goat from India leaked online, people were so confused on how the goat could look like this. And a lot of people think it's the work of the devil. The pictures were taken from a video where two people are trying to figure out what this animal is. Very shortly after the video was uploaded online, it already has 37,000 views. The caption of this video read, A strange creature has been discovered in India. The animal whose shape resembles that of a human terrified the whole village. The animal appears to have the facial structure of a human with the rest of its body resembling a goat. The animal lips are bent upwards which makes it look like it's pouting. And its nose resembles more of a human nose than the snout of a goat. Do you guys think this goat is the work of a devil or just an unfortunate breeding incident? Let me know your answers down in the comments. Next I have some very exciting news for all of you Stranger Things fans. Before season 2 has even been released, it's already being reported that Stranger Things season 3 is officially happening. That's right, this amazingly addictive series will at least be around for one more season after this upcoming one. And not only that, but the Duffer Brothers have also confirmed that their Netflix breakout hit is likely going to be locked in for a fourth season as well. So if you haven't checked out Stranger Things, I suggest you do, it's so good. You still have time to watch the first season before season 2 even comes out, which is going to be on October 27th. About this upcoming season, Ross Duffer said, I want to push things a bit. I don't want to call it season 2. I just want it to feel like a movie sequel. If you have a successful movie, number 2 is always a little bit bigger. When asked about their overall plan for the show, Ross said, We're thinking it will be a four season thing and then out. Ouch, my heart. But no, in all honesty, four seasons does seem like a good amount. Next, it's official McDonald's and Domino's portion sizes are about to get a lot smaller. Yep, apparently the government is forcing large fast food restaurants to reduce their portion sizes. This is all for good reason though, as it's being done in hopes of reducing childhood obesity. As it stands, about one in three American kids are overweight or obese. So this act is planning on being implemented as soon as next year. The government is also hoping to include a move towards healthier ingredients as well, instead of relying on the cheaper and more harmful ones. Now honestly, this does sound like a good idea, but I think a lot of people are going to get angry at the fact that the portion sizes are dropping, but the prices will remain the same. So essentially, people will be getting less product for their money. And in all honesty, it would probably be better to educate children at a younger age and really enforce how unhealthy some foods are. With the constant lack of knowledge and smaller portion sizes, it's likely that kids will just buy more of the food they aren't supposed to be eating. Well, there you go. That's all the news stories I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.